Hey guys, it's X here in the Fire Stingray on the course Mute City 3 in this, the 11th installment of the Race a Day series. So here we are in the King League, in the home stretch for Race a Day. I want you guys to pour all of yourselves into these next videos, have a ton of fun with it, have fun with each other's company, and just really enjoy these next five races. This is the part that was getting me. These little mines on the road, oh, I hate those things. They were messing me up so bad in the first few practice runs that I did. I found that they're much easier to bypass on the subsequent laps though, because you've got this boost. Save it for that point. And notice how I'm hugging the right wall here. Here's something that I haven't talked about before, but that I wanted to mention briefly in previous races that I haven't gotten a chance to at this point. But one of the things that I do whenever I play any racing game is imagine the course that a, a string would take if you wrapped it around the inside of the course imagine the plot that the string would take what would that look like try and make your car follow along that plot so if you were to wrap a string around the middle of mute city 3 the string would hug all of these all of these walls on the right side they would hug these corners of course strings don't have to worry about things like momentum and other cars hitting them but if you were to race as efficiently as possible you would cut across all diagonals in the shortest route possible. You would hug every possible corner, um, and you would be stuck to the right wall for the majority of the time in, in, in this particular race. And the same thing goes for every other course, too. Just imagine the course that a string would take if you wove it tightly around the very middle of the course. And that goes for a lot of tracks. Of course, not all tracks, but most tracks and most racing games. That's how this goes. Because the shortest distance between any two points is a straight line and a string will always try and take that shortest shortest distance if you try and wrap it around as tightly as you can around the middle of the course so anyway that's what I try and emulate with my car in any racing game I'm glad I talked about that here I'm glad I finally got that out because that's something that I've always wanted to mention I take just a minute to listen to the music here because I love Mute City's music Bam. First place. Alright. So we're kicking off the King League to a good start. I hope you guys are having fun. I know I am. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. And I'll see you next time.